Good morning, Ariel. Thanks for uh, having me. Uh, so I would say, Ariel, if, if we quickly jumping in, that Gantz uh, statement you just quoted is related not only uh, to the rumors about him becoming prime minister by the code for Netanyahu, which is amazing for itself. Uh, I think Gantz is replying to actually the ultimatum that uh, the Amina members are putting in front of him and in front of Bennett. And I'm talking not only about Sidman, she probably left, talking about Shaked, Neil Orbach, and other Knesset members. Uh, actually, the anger in the Yamina party is mostly related to Benny Gantz because he's freezing the uh, construction in the settlements. He's letting the Palestinians to build their territories with no limits and so on. And there is a lot of anger over there, uh, over, uh, over Benny Gantz. And that's for Gantz' statement that he wants the government to keep going means he's going to give the Yamina members, what they demand, and that means first and foremost, uh, settlement construction. Now, I need your help here and your expertise, Ariel, because uh, there's a discussion now going about about whether Yamina should announce that Chikli, who already left the party, but he didn't really leave the party, that's why you're here for, uh, or Silman would be announced as retired or retirees from their party. Uh, in Hebrew, the term is Polishit. Can you explain the significance? Well, to be to be very honest, uh, Ariel, I'm not sure I can co uh, explain it uh, completely because it is very complicated, and there are, I would say, some question marks how exactly it should work. Uh, is the, the law uh, actually a new law that was changed in the beginning of this Knesset as well? Uh, is saying that if uh, one Knesset member wants to leave his party. Uh, so he, he's not able to do that, or actually he's not able to join another party uh, unless there are, uh, I think, uh, three at least three Knesset members or one third of the party. It's, bottom line, it's very complicated. As there are considerations for the Amina party, whether it's useful or unuseful for them, whether to declare Shikli and now Silman as uh, uh, Knesset members who left the, the party. Again, there are reasons for here, reasons for there, and that's the reason uh, we didn't hear until now. Uh, Yamina, which means Bennett and Shaked, didn't declare until now that Shikli and now Silman are, uh, they see them as uh, Knesset members who left their party. Uh, it has a lot of uh, political meanings because once you are declared as one who left the party, so you cannot join another one. But if you have enough friends and you can join uh, another party, it, have, it has uh, meanings about the question who will become the next prime minister. Prime minister. Because uh, I would like to remind you that the current law is saying that if the government is falling because of the uh, because of the blame of one Knesset members in one of the blocks, we have two blocks. One is Bennett block and the other is Lapid block. So if it's a Knesset member from Bennett blocks is the one that because of him the government falls, so the other uh, leader, in this case Lapid, he will become automatically the prime minister. All of that is That is the, the interim prime minister, right? <laughs> Which we know can last in Israel yeah, for yes. quite long, judging by the experience of the last few years. Definitely, you, you're so right, because, and that's another risk from Netanyahu's aspect and, and the opposition aspect. Because if they pull another Knesset member from the coalition, they might make Lapid their prime minister, which probably they do not want. And Lapid will stay their prime minister if we probably go to a new elections, fifth, sixth, seventh elections. He will stay their prime minister as long as there is no decision by the voter who really gets the majority from the public. So that's definitely another consideration that all sides has to take. Now, I don't know how you feel take. about talking about polls. Uh, but let's do a bit of that now, because we're seeing these polls from last night. Uh, the Likud at the moment has 30 mandates, has 30. Uh, and, and of course, even if we were to go to elections, there is a long way to go and so much could change. But for now, we're seeing Likud in, in, in two of the polls gaining uh, five seats, so up to 35, and in one of the polls up to 38. But still, as impressive as that is, it doesn't mean that Netanyahu has a coalition in hand if he were indeed to get those 35 or 38 mandates, right? Correct. You're so right, Ariel. Uh, Netanyahu still, according as far as I saw, according to all polls, doesn't get 61. And that means that if we go to new elections, and by the way, 
now people are talking about new elections in September, if the government will really fall and Silver won't come back. Uh, so if we are going to fifth elections, it means once again there is no decision. It's still equal, both sides. No one can uh, probably will have a government and uh, unless one one party will switch to another one, which seems like it's an, and it looks like it's an unlikely. So that means yes, the uh, we, we, the deadlock is still here. You know, if some of us were thinking that we are after um, the political crisis of the last three years, three years, they were wrong. The crisis was still here and still is here and here to stay until there will be a clear decision by the voters, not in some combinations in the Knesset, by the voters who they want to see the prime minister, who which block gets most seats, in, in, you know, at least 61 and even more. So there will be a real decision who will control the new government when we will have one, if we will have. Now in the 30 seconds that we have left, I just want to uh, ask you about one thing that you mentioned. You said she might come back. If she doesn't come back, Silman, you think that's an option? I think she might come back in one way or another, or at least let's go to exactly what she said. She said, I'm resigning from the coalition. Does this mean she automatically joined the opposition completely, 100%? And you know, uh, Silman, uh, she's a very talented politician. She knows how to jump from one party, from one platform to another. And, and, and I'm sure she will make her, uh, her plan and her way. Okay. Uh, to, to, to him she's going to support and how. Okay. Ariel Kahana, Israel Ayon, thank you very much. Pleasure speaking to you. Thank you.